Welcome to the Biotech Whisperer channel. Our topic today is on an introduction to stem cell biology. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos. Let's continue with our topic. Stem cells are unspecialized cells of the human body. They are able to differentiate into any cell of an organism and have the ability of self-renewal. Stem cells exist both in embryos and adult cells. In recent years, stem cell therapy has become a very promising and advanced scientific research topic. The development of treatment methods has evoked great expectations in regenerative medicine. The genesis of stem cells is followed by laboratory steps of controlled stem cell culturing and derivation. Quality control and teratoma formation assays are important procedures in assessing the properties of the stem cells tested. Derivation methods and the utilization of culturing media are crucial to set proper environmental conditions for controlled differentiation. Moreover, the versatility in applications requires scaffolding advances and the potential of extracellular vesicle-based therapies to realize its maximum benefits. There exist several steps of specialization within stem cell classification, and it is linked to their developmental potency. Stem cells are defined by their capabilities to self-renew and give rise to various types of differentiated cells depending on their potency. They are classified as pluripotent, multipotent, and unipotent as demonstrated through their potential to generate the variety of cell lineages. Developmental potency is reduced with each step, which means that a unipotent stem cell is not able to differentiate into as many types of cells as a pluripotent one. Totipotent cells derived from fertilized egg, termed as zygote, or blastomeres, which have the potential to generate all the embryonic, and extraembryonic cells where the potential is referred to as totipotency, and such cells can give rise to the whole organism. While pluripotent stem cells may give rise to all types of cells in an organism, multipotent and unipotent stem cells remain restricted to the particular tissue or lineages. The potency of these stem cells can be defined by using a number of functional assays along with the evaluation of various molecular markers. The traditional developmental dogma follows the differentiation of totipotent stem cells to pluripotent stem cells, from pluripotent stem cells to multipotent stem cells, multipotent stem cells to unipotent stem cells and finally mature cells. Both the self-renewal capacity and differential potential are reduced during their journey from totipotent to mature cell state. However, the discovery of nuclear reprogramming methods such as somatic cell nuclear transfer method, or termed as SCNT, and use of transcriptional factors to induce pluripotency in any cell type are demonstrated as powerful tools to reverse this hierarchy. These findings show that the particular state of a somatic cell can be reprogrammed to achieve a totipotent or pluripotent state. Induced pluripotent stem cells also termed as IPSC generated from patients have great potential in disease modeling and regenerative medicine. SCNT cloning is a widely used technique to clone early stage embryos and obtain stem cells, stem cell derived gametes, organoids, exosomes, and transgenic animal models for biomedical applications. SCNT cloning is an alternative means of obtaining nuclear transfer embryonic stem cells, which negate dependence on embryos to generate ESCs. Whilst first introduced in cloning Dolly the sheep, scientists used somatic cell nuclear transfer, or SCNT, a revolutionizing technique that now is a cornerstone of stem cell research. The underlying principle of SCNT is that the body cells in an individual possess an identical genome despite being different in phenotypes, niches, and functions. SCNT organizes the reprogramming of the genome of donor nuclei, and accordingly provides the means of transforming a matured cell to a totipotency state comparable to an embryo. Hence, SCNT cloning circumvents the processes that generally ensue during gametogenesis and fertilization and enable the embryo to undergo normal development. 
In SCNT scientists begin by removing the nucleus from a somatic, or body, cell of a donor mammal. They then collect an egg cell from a donor of the same species. The egg cell nucleus is removed and replaced with the nucleus of the somatic cell. Once inside the egg, the somatic nucleus is reprogrammed by cytoplasmic factors in the egg, returning it to an undifferentiated, embryonic stage. The egg may then be implanted into the uterus of a surrogate mother to produce a cloned animal through a process known as reproductive cloning. The efficiency of SCNT needs improvements to exploit its copious potential in biomedical sciences. Apart from paving the ways to augment stem cell research and therapies, somatic cell nuclear transfer holds unique ability for a wide range of health applications, such as patient-specific or isogenic cells for regenerative medicine and breeding transgenic animals for biomedical applications. Being a potent cell genome reprogramming tool, the SCNT has increased prominence of recombinant therapeutics and cellular medicine. IPSC are derived from skin or blood cells that have been reprogrammed back into an embryonic-like pluripotent state that enables the development of an unlimited source of any type of human cell needed for therapeutic purposes. Notably, the first reported research highlighted a set of exogenous genetic factors OCT5, SOX2, KLF4, and CMYK which when ectopically expressed or when induced is capable of reprogramming mammalian cells. Further understanding of this induced pluripotency competency is further enhanced with the use of non-genetic elements and small molecules, microRNAs, synthesized transcription factors, through the combinations of chemical compounds or derived by inducing cell fusion. IPSC cells appear to have the greatest promise without ethical and immunologic concerns incurred by the use of human embryonic stem cells. They have several attributes which include being pluripotent and in having high replicative capability. Furthermore, human IPSCS have the potential to generate all tissues of the human body and provide researchers with patient and disease-specific cells which can recapitulate the disease in vitro. Prior to its use or deployment for clinical therapy, scientists are progressively gaining better and deeper understanding of epigenetic alterations and transcriptional activity associated with the induction of pluripotency and following differentiation is required for efficient generation of therapeutic cells for medical applications. The research continues into understanding what makes a stem cell a stem cell and a better understanding of how to apply stem cell applications and translating these advances from the bench to the bed. Taken together, genome reprogramming which enables transformation of differentiated or matured cells into an undifferentiated totipotent cell state is highly useful techniques to obtain isogenic immune-compatible cells for therapeutic applications. Although this domain of research is still in its infancy, exploring development mechanisms of germ cells is promising, especially in humans, to promote future reproductive and developmental engineering technologies.